Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a product review. A product review on the Timo Volumizer Hot Air Brush. Let's get to the video. Okay, first of all, this box is magnetic. See how it opens and then it closes. Right. See, I really think this is gonna work out for me. I really, really hope so. This is the Timo Volumizer Hot Air Brush. It dries and volumizes in one step, less time, less damage. It has a unique oval brush design to smooth out hair and create volume. It has tangle-free bristles that grip to smooth and create shine. It has innovative airflow vents for faster drying and better coverage. It has a titanium barrel for less heat damage. It has negative ion technology for frizz-free, shiny, healthy looking hair. It has ALCI safety plug and it has a 360 swivel power cord. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. And yes, I already washed my hair and everything and I just put in a heat protectant. I put in the Thermal Wonder by Caracare heat protectant in, the six in one thermal protector. And I put it in six sections because, you know, I just wanna just really test it out. I hope that I like it. And I will link this product down in the description below. Now that you see the buttons on, I wanna try this on low heat first, which would be the one strand right here. Okay, so this, so far, this is the low setting. Ooh, it feels real, real nice. But anyway, um, it feels really, really soft. It feels nice and it's not as loud as usual, like my last one is. I did a video right here, you can check it out, the Revlon one. But this one right here, it just, my hair feels soft. I'll put this on high heat.
Okay, I'm gonna start with the pros and cons. The cons, you have to be careful, don't slide your hand up all the way up here. And another thing, um, it sounded like it, it made a little noise right here, like it's made out of like cheap plastic, but it kind of worried me a little bit while, I, while this was in my hair. While this was in my head, I'm like, and I'm hearing this, making this cracking sound right up in here pros the blowout i say the blowout is pretty good i was expecting it to be a little straighter than this but then again it is a blow dryer brush so for it to look like this is pretty good i like it i'm glad i did my hair in sections because i think it cut my blow dry time in half and i think it's great for natural hair like it really did blow my hair out like it looks like a, a kinky straight look like I'm really happy with it. Um, I do recommend this. I give this a nine out of 10 because of what I just said with the cons, but as far as the pros, it does what it's supposed to do. It is a blow dryer brush and it does straighten it to like a kinky straight look. And I'm really happy with it. I do like the results. I like it. My hair isn't burnt. It doesn't have a scent, a burnt scent or anything to it. Oh, and it's lightweight. So you don't have to worry about your arm getting a, a, getting a workout child, getting that cardio because it is a lighter weight. I won't say lightweight, I'm gonna say a lighter weight. It's gonna frizz up a little bit, but you know, it's fine. You know, I like this look. This is the length. And you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be longer when, when flat iron. It's gonna be much longer because you know, it's not flat iron. But um, yeah, I like the results. I think it's cute. It did my hair really, really good. I did pay like $55 for this. I did get it from Amazon. So I will link it down in the description box below. It does work for me and I do recommend it. So yeah, yeah. So this is the side by side look. So let me show you how it looks. Let me show you how it looks. Yeah. 